Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. This is Luna who has refused to get out of the way so I just buried her in <laughs> diamond paintings. So today I have an unboxing from Fan Cells of... we got six. One, two, three, four, five, six items. Uh, these were all purchased myself with my own money. None have been gifted or uh, given to me in any way, shape or form. So these have been sitting around ready to unbox for quite a while. Uh, July, as a matter of fact. So oh, it's only two months. <laughs> That's pretty good going for me. So today might be a longer than usual video as I will be showing you all six items. So let's start with this one put these ones aside somewhere. I might have to put them this side today. So yeah, if you can hear a lot of wind or creaking or sort of strange noises in the background, it's a very windy and um, rainy day here. So I'm not sure if it gets picked up in the background or not, but I thought I'd just let you know just in case. So the first one I'm getting ready for Christmas was I wanted to try one of these wreaths. I see everybody unboxing, so I thought I shall grab one myself. So you've got your standard toolkit. And here it is. Whoop, get off bag. So here it is. I'll bring you in for this because it's little. There we go. Um, I got a snowman for obvious reasons, being that my surname is Frost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now the reefs, these are the um, old style reefs, which I think they might be changing it on the newer reefs, reefs that come out. Um, these ones don't have anything that you can stick them up with. So you would have to put like blue tack or uh, put your own sort of nail or the command strips or something like that on them. Yes, it's sticky. Excuse me. <laughs> Luna's trying to show you this side of no Bubba you can't eat it it's not... no <laughs> no uh, I've buried the tape measure here it is so it's roughly 22 of course if you go diagonal it's going to be different but it's roughly 22 centimeters by let's be generous and say 23 by 23 centimeters it is quite a cute little pattern. I do like it. It's all special drills. Let's have a look at them. So it doesn't say how many colours. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's got one, two, three, no, four. four. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen colours. It's numbered a bit weird, but there's thirteen different colours or special drills. Let's have a look. So, yeah, you got everything you would expect for your Christmas colours. Oh, ooh, they're pretty. Wow, what are those ones? They're like a peacock. They're really pretty. What number is that one? Six. Thank you, Luna. <laughs> number six. I can't see number six. I will see number six at a later time. Oh, it's on the, like the cardinal there. I think you can sort of see it, but they are a really beautiful color. And then you got some ABs, some more Christmas type colors. And your slightly bigger ones in your marquees. So that is really gorgeous. That's going to be fun to make up. Which it won't be getting made up until Christmas. Um, as my December videos, I'll make up little Christmas Nicky Knacks, which is why I'm trying to get all my Christmas things in now. So I really do like that one. Now I'm going to put that in here. before 
a nameless kitty cat tries to eat it a bit more. Now this was £5.99, which uh, at time of purchase and time of conversion was $11.08 Australian. Alrighty, which one next? Now I might not be showing the drills fully on all of these, only because there's six and so that's a lot for me to um, unbox in one video. But fan cells has been around for a while. We've all heard of it, or we sh I shouldn't say we all have. Most of us have probably heard of it and purchased from them before. So we know the drills are generally really good from them. So I won't be showing all the drills. Okay, so this one, you've got your slightly different than standard kit, slightly bigger wax, a three multi-placer and some Ziploc bags. So that's awesome. And so this one is the leopard with the pink flowers. Uh, 23 colors. There's two legends. They are all letters and they look pretty clear. Let's bring you down. Have a look at the drill field. So there is the drill field and it looks pretty clear. If you're using a light pad like me, you won't have an issue. Now this one was the same. It was £5.99 and that came to $11.08 Australian at time of conversion, which was back in July. So it shouldn't be much different. Alrighty, Oop, don't want inches, that's that old fashioned measurement. 40 by 50, so we've got a just shy of 34 and a half by 44 and a half. Now, did I say 23 colors already? Can't remember. <laughs> there, there. So there, these drills um, with just the white strip that don't have your DMC codes on them, they just have your bag number and your kit number. Uh, but the DMC codes are on the canvas. So I won't take them out. As I say, you usually are dealing with good drills anyway when you get fan cells. And they look good from what I can see here anyway. All right, which one shall we pick next? Let's go this one. I'm just randomly picking them. They're not done by size or anything. They're just as my hand goes on them. There's Luna's bum. She's come back. Um, I think she saw some birds out the window. So she wants to know what's going on. All right. So this one is one of these really cool, bright sort of pop art images. You got your standard toolkit, nothing special in that one. But it's all you need when you're starting out on diamond painting. You don't need all this fancy stuff you see long-term diamond painters use. That's all you need. All right, so here it is. It's a barmaid. Uh, I love the color and just the art style of this one. It's beautiful. There's 23 colors on this one. DMC codes. Nice and sticky. Uh, the drill field is printed really clearly. Can't see a concern. It looks like it's numbers and letters and in order. So yes, you've got number one to eight as one to eight and then the alphabet in order. So they haven't, they've been quite good. They haven't done an eight and a B. There's no B, there's an eight. Uh, there's no, there is an S and a 5, but they are distinctly different enough. They won't be a problem. Uh, the S's are these dark blue colors here. And the 5's are the sort of yellowish skin tones for the middle there. So, really think this one's going to be absolutely stunning when it's done. So, it's uh, 40 by 40, which comes out at 34 and a half by just a smidge over 34 and a half. This one was £3.99, which came to $7.38 Australian. 
Sorry if I'm talking faster than normal or going through these faster than normal. Uh, it's just I haven't done one with six for a long time, so I'm trying to get through it as efficiently as I can without making it too long and boring a video. And when it's a well-known company like Fancells, I don't think uh, I need to be as slow and deliberate, so to speak. All right, so here is, I'm glad I picked this one up next. So it's another one like my Bar Winch in the same style. And it is a lady with sunglasses on that say, wow. Now she could be reflecting on looking at somebody's backside where they've got a donut cut there. Uh, but uh, again, I love this sort of art style and I loved how bright and colourful it was. Uh, time to get some bright and colourful ones in my, time, in my life. And this is really pretty. Your toolkit is, uh, you got two squares of wax with it and a multi-placer as well on your pen. So slightly, slightly more than your average toolkit. 40 by 40. So we've got ooh, almost up to 35 on this one. By 34 and a half. So not quite square. Looks square. Well, maybe it doesn't. Anyway, that's pretty good. It's 22 colours and like the barmaid, it's letters and numbers and they've done it sensibly one to eight is one to eight and then you've got your alphabet in order nice and sticky let's bring you down to have a look at the drill field it's going to be some nice color blocking although the background is yellow there is a few different um, symbols and numbers in there so it's not going to be straight up yellow different tones of yellow this one you could probably even do without a light pad because it is so bright and vibrant but i like my light pads so this one costs the same as the barmaid being three pound 99 pence or 738 australian and i won't get the bag uh the drills out because we can see that they're you can see sort of in there that they are quite nice bright these ones look brighter than the barmaid colors so, but really pretty uh, never a problem with drills when they're packaged like that on to the next one standard toolkit that this is not the one to do if you're trying to quit sugar or if you're on a diet, don't do this kit. <laughs> um, it is donuts, lots and lots of donuts. Now I think I saw this on Lovecraft Forever, uh, Natalia's um, channel. I saw her doing it and I went, oh my God, I've got to get that one. That looks so good, so yummy. And hopefully if I do them, I won't eat them. 40 by 50 and it is all nicely, brightly colored, yummy donuts. There's 24 colors. The table is all letters that are all mixed up. Just trying to see, uh, it's going to be fairly confetti. There does look like minor color blocks around some of the icing. But I think it's going to be very confetti heavy because <laughs> you've got to color in them sprinkles. So let's have a look here. Yeah, nice and sticky. Let's bring it down mm -mm, into the donutty goodness. Nom, 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 nom. And yeah, as you can see, like there's going to be this nice chunky bit of purple is going to be color blocked and this greeny color and whitey color but then when you get to the sprinkles it's gonna be a confetti nightmare but <laughs> it looks printed clearly I would use a light pad um, because I really do think this would be hard to see without it not, not so much in the lighter colors but when you're getting around these turquoise colors and the browns for the chocolate you might 
find just straining your eyes a little bit. And it's so colourful and bright and it looks really quite impressive. I like the way it looks through the camera viewfinder so I'm hoping it looks that good when it's done. Alrighty, let's check the size on this one. So it says 40 by 50 so you've got just a smidge over 44 just shy of 44 and a half actually and that way 34 and a half 24 colors they come in these sort of bags so the drills are going to be fine again I'm not going to get them all out um, we know what the drills are like by now and this will be a three hour long video if I go through every single drill now this one costs £5.99 pence or $11.08 Australian. Couldn't, oh God, you know, with the lockdown still going, I could just bury my face in the middle of real donuts like that and just chew my way. Chew my way around. Because <laughs> that's what the lockdown's doing to me. This one is a square one. And I think it's a square one that's going to be double-sided adhesive. You can feel how it's wrapped up like that. They've started to go back to poured glue in some cases, but I think this is going to be the stock where they changed over for a while and realised people didn't like it. And, oh, no, shut up, Sally. It is poured glue. <laughs> Look before you start lecturing. Wow. All right, uh, get out, it's very sticky. Ugh. But the good part is it's all pre-packed. So you get with your square kits, you get your better than average tool kit, you get your white tray, your two big chunks of wax and your multi-places, plus some tweezers. Oh, and don't forget your grippy thing. So that's a great kit. We will get back to them drills, nicely pre-bagged for lazy sallies. Um, well this has, oh okay. The reason I thought it was going to be double-sided adhesive is because they have been a lot lately. Um, but also when they wrap it tight like this on a roller, because this is on a roller, it usually means it is double-sided adhesive. But if it comes with a clear cover, it's usually poured glue. But they've um, also tightly wrapped it with sticky tape as well. So it's that crease there, hopefully, because it should be poured glue, will come out quite easily. So let's... You can see it's made a nice pattern all the way through the back there. Uh, where is the nice pattern on the roller? Right, so I'm going to fold it this way because I believe it is poured glue so it should be quite secure to do this way and hopefully this will flatten it out enough to view you can see the patterns all the way through now I'm hoping that yeah this will just flat out nicely flatten down nicely if I put it under some heavy stuff while I've got the cover off we'll have a look I mean because it is poured so it should recover quite nicely um, I've seen this image on a lot of paint by numbers websites or images and I did look for an artist but as far as I could see there was none it was accredited to so that's why I got it and it is that gorgeous kitten with some cherry blossoms in the background let's just pop it this way so you can see it first and while I've got the cover half down because then I'll try and fix it all up and um, cover it so that's the way the image goes but of course again it's a 90 degree print uh, so you would have it the way I just had it is how you would have it to see your drill field the correct way but this is the way the image is and it's a very cute little tuxedo kitty with some pretty sure they're sakuras I uh, could be wrong but there's some sort of cute little pink flower now it's 35 colors and it does have your DMC codes it's a square drill it's nice and sticky 
I will bring it back the way the drill field is printed, which is this way. Bring it down so we can have a look. And the drill field looks printed nice and clear. Uh, it's just using a combination of, looks like symbols and letters uh, and a couple of numbers. So it's a real mixed bag there of symbols in the legend and in no logical order which always makes it fun <laughs> but yeah there's um 35 colors is really quite decent for this sorry i'm just trying to fold it back there but it does look like it's it's quite clearly printed and i can't see a problem rather again use a light board or a light pad because there is going to be some dark spaces but if you've got awesome lighting and awesome eyesight you don't need to but i do this one we will have a look at the drills because it is square um oh i should do a measurement first shouldn't i so it's a 40 by 50 it was seven pound 99 which came to 14 dollars and 78 australian cents uh 40 by 50 so it is 40 just shy of 48 and a half and 38 and a half so you actually get less wastage between canvas and image on the squares than you do on the rounds because your average round these days I think takes off about five and a half to six centimeters where this is just losing one and a half centimeters on each border so that's pretty good I think they're printed at different factories as well but I am loving this kitty one it is so cute now let's put kitty aside and we will look at all of the colors because it is square so they are or well, can be a bit more problematic than round so let's have a look but pre-kitted makes Sally a happy girl and on the bags you're getting uh, the corresponding color number the DMC number and the quantity so that's pretty good so I'm just going to pop these out uh, and then we'll just check that they're all there okay 35 colors all present and accounted for uh, gosh look at this one this is nice and bright it's gonna hurt your eyeballs I like that color so um, just looking at their square drills they look okay in the bag I can't see any concern uh, that's your 310 if anything's going to be concerned it'll be those ones as they're mass produced nothing that I can see through the bag but again you never know till you start working on them obviously there's a lot of oh, 3865 that's that slightly minty white I think they call it baby blue I'm not 100% sure what that color is called but it's to me it's a minty white it's just a slight green to it so there's a big bag of that but yeah they're all present and accounted for and all look really good and quite pretty colors it's obviously heavily pink um, as well as the pussycats black so yeah let me pop these away and come back for final thoughts well here they are minus the Christmas wreath <laughs> I put that aside with my Christmas stuff but what a marathon of an unboxing for me I generally don't do more than three these days in a uh, one video because I find it a bit overwhelming with all the talking so if I've forgotten any details on any of these I do apologize I'm pretty sure I've covered off on size stickiness price <laughs> uh drills everything i needed to but i love all of these canvases this was my very very i must have been in a very sort of need color in my life mood when i purchased these because they are all very bright and colorful and adorable especially the two little cat ones yes that's a cat uh they're all gorgeous so first impressions of these canvases happy with all of them not a concern at all of course fan cells i have purchased from a number of time and i've never had an issue with their canvases 
let me know down below in the comments what you think of these canvases have you done any of them and what do you think of them have i inspired you to get any of them um links will be down below in the description to each canvas if this is your first time watching my channel thank you very much please consider subscribing that would be awesome and if you're a returning viewer thank you very much that is also awesome everybody please hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already to keep up to date when i have uploaded a new video with spooktober coming very very quickly i will be uploading a few more than usual i think i have a schedule for uploading three videos um, a week for spooktober and that's something i'm looking forward to doing in 2022 so best way to keep notified is the notification bell everybody no matter where you are please stay safe stay weird eat a donut and i'll catch you in the next one bye